If you're a SmartThings user looking for a new home to host your Groovy-based custom smart home apps, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Habitat Elevation. As of December 31st, 2022, the SmartThings Hub will no longer run any Groovy-based apps on their platform. Well, I've got good news for you. We do. Thousands of SmartThings users have already made the switch to Habitat Elevation for that very reason. Now, if you wanna join them in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import your custom Groovy apps into Habitat Elevation. And we're gonna use WebCore, one of the most popular custom apps, as our example. Before we get started, remember, with Habitat Elevation, you don't have to use custom apps. Habitat Elevation has an extremely powerful suite of dozens of built-in apps, including Basic Rules, Habitat Home Safety Monitor, Lock Code Manager, and of course, Rule Machine, that lets you create hyper-conditional rules to an almost ridiculous degree. But for those who really like to tinker and customize, Hubitat is an exceptionally open platform for writing or installing custom Groovy-based apps and drivers. WebCore is a fine example of this. Many SmartThings users will already be familiar with this app. Now you can even import your old pistons from SmartThings to save you time when building your automations when you bring it into Hubitat. Now generally WebCore does require the cloud when you're setting up and editing your pistons, but unlike the SmartThings implementation, WebCore pistons on Hubitat run completely locally, so they'll run faster and they're not subject to interruptions. So let's get it installed. First, we're going to go to the Hubitat online community at community.hubitat.com to find the app code. In the community, you will find an entire section for custom apps and drivers where developers provide links to their code and offer support. Spend some time in here and you might find some really cool things. For WebCore, we have a dedicated subcategory. You'll find the code links here, which I will put in the description. Please note that custom apps and drivers, including WebCore, are not tested nor endorsed by Hubitat. Use at your own risk and read the developer documentation before installing. Some apps like WebCore require multiple app installations. So we're gonna copy this first link, then open up a new tab into our Hubitat Hub. Under developer tools, we're gonna to select apps code, then select new app. This will open up the developer window. You can write code directly in here, you can copy and paste code in here, or you can select import and paste a link to the code here, which is what we're gonna do. Yes, we want to overwrite the code and let it do its thing. Next, hit save. This can take a while with larger apps, so be patient. Finally, for WebCore, we need to enable OAuth, so click here, then select Enable OAuth, then hit Next to create the key. Once that is complete, we can follow the same process for the WebCore Piston app. Once you complete that, the apps are installed. In order to use them, you need to take a final step and go into the app section then select Add User App. Once you do that, you'll see the app in your apps list and you can click into it and away you go. Now this is not a WebCore tutorial video, so we're not gonna go into more depth on that here, but I am going to refer you to Bearded Tech Guy. He's got a great YouTube series on installing WebCore and Hubitat, including how to import pistons from SmartThings, how to build out your automations, and much, much more. So check that out if WebCore is something you are interested in. Of course, WebCore is just the tip of the iceberg for the types of custom apps you'll find for the Hubitat Elevation Hub. There are also countless drivers for adding devices that are not yet part of our official compatibility list, so do check that out in our online community. And if you have your own apps that you wanna share, please share them with the world at community.habitat.com. So that's it for today. Remember, Habitat runs on Groovy. So if you wanna switch from smart things, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just bring your custom code over and you're good to go. Now, if you find this video helpful, please give us a like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And as always, thanks for watching, and thanks for elevating your environment with Habitat Elevation. <music>